Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Oracle Fitness Center. My name is Stacy, and you are here for some low intensity strength today. We are going to work total body. We're going to do three exercises, three, do three sets for each one, and then another group of three exercises, three sets for each one. Today, you will need your mat, a heavy set of dumbbells, which if you've been doing this for a bit, we're talking like hopefully 10 plus. We're working the legs with those. Um, if you're new, six to eight maybe. Then we need some moderates. So you're six to eight if you've been doing this for a bit. A little bit lower if you uh, are new to some resistance training. We are gonna get warmed up. I'm gonna move my weights into view. Oh, we're gonna we're gonna get warmed up, which is not gonna be a super dynamic warm up. And then we're gonna get after it. We're gonna get all done our work in about 30 minutes. Let's start with a nice march. Woo! It's like, why is it so hard to get back in the swing of things and like be scheduled the day after a holiday? I don't know. Well, we may never know, right? I'm super happy y'all are here today. I'm happy to be here with you. We're gonna go into some high knees in three, two, and one. Good, drawing those knees up, still keeping that torso nice and upright. Good. Love it. Nice work. We're gradually getting that body type warmed up. We are gonna do some of our movement prep. Butt kicks in three, two, and butt kick it. Nice work. I love this. We've been seated for a bit. We're gonna get some movement going. We're gonna work some strength through some full ranges of motion. Dynamite. We're going into that low jack next. In three, two, and bring it. Let's get that arm. You know what, let's bring that arm in front today. You know I love it. <laughs> nice work. Find that intention for your work today. Really, our intention today is working strength through that full range of motion. Okay, what that means to you could be a little bit different than what that means to me, but that's all right. That's our goal. So that means we're owning our movements, we're keeping our technique paramount. Here we go for three. Well, I better call out the next exercise, right? We're gonna go into a bodyweight squat in three, two, and transition. <laughs> bring it down and up. Let's bring those arms to an overhead position. Good. Nice inhale, exhale as we return. Push that floor away. This may not be a full range of motion yet. That's okay. Here we go. We got two more. Nice job. Let us bring it out to a little side to side lunge. Vegan. Back to center, out to the side. Again, might not be full range of motion. That's okay. Good. One more on each side. And let's take it back to either a march or a little jog. It could be either. It does not have to be super intense. That's not uh, the intention of our work today. But maybe you just like to jog in place. I kind of want to move like this right now. All right, we're going to high knees. Could be a high knee march. Could be high knees in a more dynamic movement. Three, two, and one. I can bring them up here or I 
can go from here. Nice work. Here we go, butt kicks in three, two, and one. My butt kicks can be from here, or I can be from here. Whatever feels best for you right now. Good. We're gonna go, let's do a full jack. You wanna stay on low jack? You can. In three, two, and bring it. <laughs> it's like I almost forgot how to do a jumping jack. Nice work. There we go. For four, three, two, body weight squats. Step it out. Bring those arms overhead. Nice work. Pushing that floor away. I know you know we're doing some version of a squat today. There we go. Two more. Last one. Boom. Let's do it. We're going to grab our heavy. We are going to get after our split squat today. Our split squat is different than a lunge because it stays stationary. There's no movement, except for us squatting and returning to the start. We are going to work the front leg mostly. The back foot is just a kickstand. So I like, think 75% of the body weight should be shifted forward, doing most of the work. I'm gonna let that knee maybe track in front of my big toe and that's okay. But it will come in line with my first and second toe, okay? Shoulders down and back, big sink, push it up tall. Here we go, begin. Good, we got 10 of these total. My front foot is flat on the ground. Here we go, here we go. We got one more. Push it up strong through that front leg. Switch sides. Shoulders down and back. I have a little bit of a lean with my chest. I have a little bit of flex flexion at my hip. I'm not super upright in this position. That's so I can get that shift of my body weight over that foot. Here we go. Begin. Good, finding that balance. Dominating this work. Not every rep is gonna be perfect, but you're gonna adjust accordingly, right? We got three more. Nice. Here we go. We are going to the lighter weights or to our moderate weights. We have a front raise to a lateral raise. Yes. <laughs> so we're gonna have the shoulders set down and back. We're gonna raise it forward. Out, back, and down. Ready? Begin. We got 10 of them. Own each position. Good. Watch that breath. I'm looking to maintain this beautiful trunk position. I don't wanna let my hips shoot forward and arch through my low back. Kinda like that position 
when we're in our hollow hold. Kind of like that position we were just, well, not just in, in our split squat, but maybe when we're doing a regular squat. Good, big own and down, nice work. Here we go, we got two more. Big up, big up, here we go. Nice control, out of way, out of way. We are gonna come down to our mat, we are gonna grab one of our heavier dumbbells or one of your moderates. It really, it doesn't matter. This is this is that dead bug variation where we'll have the weight over the chest. So you're gonna do what works best for you. I'm, gonna, I'm going to get my knees over my hips, weight over the chest, eyes up. Then I'm going to bring the weight overhead, extend, and then extend the opposite leg. Boom, that's one rep. You are looking for that beautiful full range of motion while maintaining this trunk position. We should not be able to put a hand under our low back. That is not maintaining our trunk position, okay? Ready, begin. You could. If you don't want to bring that overhead, you can still keep that weight right here. It's adding to that tension in that anterior trunk. You can do some reps here, and you could do some reps that go overhead. But if you start to arch through that low back, you got to stop and get it back. Did you just like how I tisked you? I did it. I'll never do it again. That's super silly. No one wants that. Here we go. Love it. And if you start to get that low back arching, you can always just bring that weight back over to your chest. Over your chest. Good. Reset as needed. Dynamite. There you go. We got two more on each side. Good. Last one. Love it. I. Love that exercise for maintaining our breath throughout. So we are asking our body to create that tension or that stability in our trunk as we're doing these movements, but we still want to maintain our nice breath. And it's not a gaspy breath. It's hopefully a nice inhale through the nose, exhale either through the nose or through the mouth. Let's bring it back up top. We got split squats. Also maintaining our breath throughout, right? Set it up, left foot forward, right foot back in a kickstand, shoulders down and back. Ready? Begin. Driving it up through that left foot. Left foot staying in full contact with the ground. Whoa, lost my balance. I'm laughing because there's a lot of cracking and crinkling going on, which is okay because it is not painful. <laughs> we got two more. Woo. Woo. I almost lost my balance again. <laughs> Here we go, other side. Set it up. Begin. Good work, good work.
Here we go. Three more. Three more from right here. You got this. <laughs> I'm all over the place today. It happens, right? We'll get it back. Lateral or forward raise, lateral raise. Set it up. No shoulders forward. Shoulders down and back with this. Here we go. Bring it up, out, back, and down. Begin. Soft bend in those knees. We're not locking those legs out. You got this. Right here. Boom. Nice control through that motion. I'm not just throwing those weights back there. I'm using my muscles to bring them back there. Here we go. Here we go. Nice. Two more. Beautiful. Let's bring it down to the mat. Grab that weight. But you know what? It's optional. If you feel like, hey, I am challenged enough right now without the weight, I want you to keep that awesome technique in that great form because you're going to get the most out of it that way. It's the day after a holiday. Maybe your body's not ready for it yet. Maybe you didn't get all the sleep you needed. Let's adjust accordingly. That's what it's all about, being able to do that. Listening to what your body is telling you. Moving ahead or staying put. Good work. Okay, if you're losing that positioning, bring that weight back over or go to no weight. Here we go, here we go. Little baby heel tap. Right here, one more on each side. There we go. Beautiful. Love it. We are going to grab those heavies again. Almost forgot where we were. Split squat it. And on each side. Ready? Shoulders down and back. Begin. My knee. Is, is maybe making contact with the ground, but it's not resting there. I am not looking to lose that control. If it touches, I still have all that tension in the front part of my left leg. Here we go. Nice work. Three more. Beautiful. Other side. Here we go. Woo. My right leg wanted to come, or my right heel wanted to come up. I think it's because I had a little bit too big of a space between my feet. Took a big stance. <laughs> I took a big stance on my split squat. I love split squats. Here we go, here we go. Good 
<laughs> nice. Three more. Good, good, good. Last one. Beautiful. Grab them. Last one here. Ready? Begin. Nice. Good, good own here, out here, back and down. Match that breath with your movement. Still maintaining that beautiful trunk position. Great, grand, wonderful. Good, two more. Nice. Love it. A lot of bang for our buck right there, right? Wrong. Grab that weight if you want. Last time here. <laughs> oh my heavens. Okay, I just looked over at the towel bin outside of the men's locker room and I emptied it before we started. It is overflowing right now. Not because there's too many towels, because people haven't put the towels in the bin. I want you to laugh with me about that. <laughs> All right, back to exercising. Begin! Oh man, it cracks me up. It's like, you know, one of those things we just, oh, the person in front of us did it this way, so I'm gonna do it this way too. <laughs> oh, heavens. My solution for that is to take my foot and just push them all down so that they'll all get pushed in the bin. Here we go. Nice work. Love it. Love that attention. Here we go. Beautiful. We got two more on each side. We have gotten a lot of bang for our buck in this first deck trio of exercises, have we not? Everything was like a two for one. Yes. All right. Next exercises. We are going to do our RDLs. We're going to do some tricep kickbacks. We're going to do some hip bridges with marching. Grab a drink if you need it. Then grab your heavies. Come in to that narrow stance position. Feet are going to be under the hips. Weights are going to be in front. Palms facing the thighs, shoulders down and back. I'm gonna get that real nice hinge and those weights are gonna come in front of my legs and then I'm gonna push that floor away, come to a quick up. So it'll end up being like a three count down, quick up, all right? Big hinge, exaggerate those hips coming back. That's what's lowering those weights, not me lowering them with my upper body. All right, begin. Push that floor away. Good. About a three count down. Quick up. Good. Your toes can come off the floor here, but get them back so you can push that floor away. Full foot in contact with the ground when you're pushing that floor away and returning to your start position. Nice work. Three more. Big hinge. Quick up. I love this tempo work. 
reminds our body that when we need to move quickly, we can, and we can be resilient to it. Nice. Tricep kickbacks. I'm grabbing my moderates. I'm going to get into a little baby hinge position. Roll those weights up. Melt those shoulders away from the ears. And now I'm going to kick them back and return. Join in. Good. We are looking to get that elbow extension and flexion. Good. Out of way. Three more. Good, last one. And boom, bring it down to your mat. Lay it on your back, knees bent, feet flat on the ground. I can have my hands on the floor next to me or I can have them on my torso. I'm gonna get a little less stability right through here. Okay, I'm gonna bridge it up, hold it there, and then I'm going to have my feet a little closer together and I'm gonna march. Good, I got one on each side is one rep. Keeping those hips up. Good. Nice work. Out of way. We got three more on each side. Good, good, good. Hips up. Good. One more. Beautiful. Love it. Okay, let's do it all again. Bring it back. Feet under the hips. Ready? Big hinge. Feel that tension. Push that floor away. Nice work. Love it. All about the posterior chain, am I right? Here we go, three more. Last one. Lovely, kicking it back. Here we go, we're working on our meat hooks. That's what we wanna do, we just wanna hang some meat off the back of our arms, right? <laughs> Set it up, little hinge, row it, now kick it back. Here we go, here we go. Match that breath to your movement. Melt those shoulders away from your ears. Going for that full extension. Nice work. Here we go, one more. Beautiful. Love it. Bring it back down to the mat. Bridge those hips up, feet are a little bit closer together, and march. Here we go, here we go. Nice work, looking for that control. We're not just picking those feet up, we're trying to keep those hips up. Out of way, out of way. Got one more on each side. No, three more on each side. 
I was thinking eights, not tens. My bad. Now we got one more. Oh my heavens. <sighs> Let's do one more on each one to call it a day. We're gonna fill the penny. We're gonna dominate these RDLs. Set it up. Shoulders down and back. Ready? Begin. Here we go. Nice work. Here we go, big hinge. Really feeling that pull, quick up. Now we have two more. Beautiful, love it. You know that means next week that we're probably doing a staggered stance RDL. How awesome is that? Love us some single single leg work, right? We couldn't do a bolt today. That'd be silly. Row it up. Kick it back. Begin. Good. Nice. Here we go, here we go. Two more. Full extension. Love it. Set it up. Last one here. Ready? Bridge it up. March. Good. Good. It's a great time to think about this tension and your breath. Okay. Out of way, out of way. Here we go, two more on each side. Last one. Whew. That was a lot of really awesome work. Let's take a couple seconds, more than a couple seconds, to do a little bit of a stretch, a little bit of a cool down, bring that breath back to our normal rhythm. Let's do a little pointing and flexing of the feet. From here, let's sit up nice and tall. Don't round that back. Reach forward. Feel that pull through that back side of the body. Nice inhale and exhale. Inhale. And exhale, let's round and get a little bit deeper. Very good. Bring it out to the side, out to a, a straddle. Let's have left arm go down the right leg. Right arm reaches overhead. Inhale, exhale, reach a little more. Inhale, exhale. Back up tall, opposite. Right arm down the left leg. Inhale, exhale. Left arm comes overhead. Very good. Inhale, exhale, a little bit deeper. Very nice. Let's bring those feet together. Let's have the feet touching. Inhale, 
Exhale, drop that chest towards the feet. Very nice. Bring it back up tall. Let's bring that arm across the chest. Gentle pull behind the elbow. Not right on the elbow. Let's not, let's not be aggressive at the joint. Right arm overhead. Gentle pull. Very nice. Left arm across the chest. Nice inhale, exhale, melt those shoulders away. Left arm up, and the head, gentle pull. Very nice. Let's take a nice inhale, arms come up. Exhale, one more time. Inhale, arms come up. Exhale. That is some cheesy group fitness breath work. But to be honest, it's still good. It's a classic, but it works, right? That is a good match of our breath to our movement. My name is Stacy. You've been here for low intensity strength. We got after it today. I appreciate you very much for joining me. We'll be back tomorrow for some mobility from the ground up and a little core express. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Bye.